Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another Psych2Go video. Have you ever suspected that maybe your parents are emotionally immature? Maturity is more than a matter of age. It's about understanding that while you may not be able to control every situation and its outcome, you can control your attitude and the way you deal with it. Having emotionally immature parents can sometimes be harmful, especially to your mental health. Before we begin, We'd like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only, and it is not intended to attack or criticize parents. With that said, here are seven signs your parents may be emotionally immature. Number one, they're insensitive to your feelings. Do your parents refuse to put effort into understanding you and seeing things from your point of view? Instead of being considerate and empathetic, your parents don't seem to care about your feelings at all. They don't think about how their words or actions might affect you or how it might make you feel. They expect you to be grateful and go along with everything they want because they say it's for your own good. Number two, they take their problems out on you. Do you find yourself walking on eggshells around your parents when they've had a bad day? Instead of being calm, rational, and level-headed, your parents are defensive, easily flustered, and they lose their temper a lot. They don't know how to keep their feelings in check so they take their anger and frustration out on you. Parents who are emotionally mature know how to control their feelings rather than letting their feelings control them. Three, they demand too much from you. Do your parents make you feel like nothing you do will ever be enough for them? They set impossible goals for you and then make you feel guilty for failing to live up to their unrealistically high expectations. Parents who are emotionally mature, on the other hand, understand that it's the effort and not the outcome that matters. You don't need to be the smartest, most athletic, or most accomplished to make them proud. Number four, they're quick to point fingers. Do your parents blame you for everything? A mark of emotional maturity is when you learn to hold yourself accountable and to take responsibility for your actions. So, if your parents always pin the blame on others when things go wrong, it's a sign that they may be emotionally immature. You'll never hear them say, it's my fault, or I know I made a mistake, because in their eyes, they can do no wrong. Number five, they're not aware of their own flaws. Do your parents think they're always right and that you should always listen to them? They may be judgmental, closed-minded, and unaware of their own shortcomings. Those who are emotionally immature fail to see that they could be wrong sometimes or that they might not know everything. Because of this, they instill a lot of self-doubt and feelings of dependency in their children, making them think that speaking up or standing up for themselves is wrong. Number six, they're too controlling of you. Are your parents rigid, stubborn, and overbearing? They have their own values and ideals that they expect you to live by. They don't allow you to disagree with their choices or question their judgment. Because of this, your self-esteem becomes dependent on their approval of you, and you feel the need to hide certain aspects of yourself in fear that they might reject you. And number seven, they have low stress tolerance. Another mark of emotional maturity is a person's willingness to be flexible and to adapt to their situation. But if your parents have low stress tolerance, they're likely to be rigid and overbearing. They don't cope well when their plans fall apart or when things don't go the way they expected. It's hard for them to accept when you want something for yourself that's different from what they want for you. Do your parents show any of these signs? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. It's below.